Hello, my name is Lars Christensen, aka The Insurance Agent, and today I want to talk about the five insurance coverages that you'll need for your nightclub or bar. The first coverage I'd like to discuss is general liability. If you own any sort of business, you'll need to have general liability insurance. So what is it? General liability insurance covers the insured for damages due to bodily injury or property damage on the insured's premise. An example of a general liability claim at a nightclub or a bar would look like this. A patron walks in your bar, slips and falls, injures him or herself. This would be covered under general liability insurance. Now there are limits to general liability insurance. And in this industry, the standard limits are $1 million per occurrence and $2 million aggregate. If you own any sort of business, you'll need to have general liability insurance. The second coverage I wanna talk about is liquor liability. There are currently 43 states, including DC, that have dram shop laws. These laws require a business or entity that sells or serves alcoholic beverages, including beer and wine, to carry liquor liability insurance. So what is liquor liability? It's similar to general liability where it covers the insured for bodily injury or property damage due to an intoxicated patron that was served alcohol by the insured. So an example of a claim you would see fall under the liquor liability insurance looks like this. A patron is at your bar and is served alcohol. The patron leaves, gets in his or her car and injures somebody else. Your bar could be held liable for serving alcohol to that patron. This falls under your liquor liability insurance. If you're owning or operating any sort of venue in the nightlife or hospitality industry, liquor liability insurance is vital and you should definitely have this on your insurance policy. The third one we wanna talk about today is assault and battery. Now assault and battery coverage is where we see the largest influx of claims come through the door in the nightlife and hospitality industry. Assault and battery coverage covers third-party liability arising out of assault and battery instances. Coverage is patron to patron or employee to patron. An example of an assault and battery claim would look like this. Two patrons are at your bar. They get into a fist fight. That would be covered under assault and battery. Or let's say a patron comes back and says, hey, this bouncer used excessive force to remove me from your establishment. Now I'm gonna sue. Again, this would fall under assault and battery. The last two coverages we're gonna discuss fall under your commercial property policy. The first one is business personal property, which we identify as your contents. Now contents is physical property that can be taken out of the establishment. So if, if you own a nightclub or bar, this could be your bar stools or your restaurant tables. Or maybe you have a nice DJ booth with expensive equipment or nice lighting in your nightclub. These all fall under your contents. And so the coverage for contents is the actual value of these contents inside your bar. So as a business owner, you need to know the valuation of all, all the contents and let your insurance agent know so that they can value the contents accordingly on your insurance policy. Typically in the nightlife and hospitality industry, we write these on what are called replacement costs. So if damages occur, it is replaced on the actual cost of your contents. The last one I wanna discuss is loss of income. Loss of income will provide coverage if a business needs to relocate temporarily due to a covered property loss. Expenses may occur, so loss of income could cover for some of these, which could include payroll, taxes, or mortgage expenses. Loss of income depends upon the annual gross receipts of your business. So loss of income coverage is rated differently and is always subject to the actual business itself. Just to recap the five insurance coverages you need for your insurance venue, First, we have general liability, liquor liability, assault and battery coverage, and then the two that fall under your commercial property policy, business personal property, also known as contents, and loss of income. 
I hope you found this video to be informative. And if you have more questions regarding your business insurance, my information is down in the description below. Cheers. Thank you.